first of all, I just want to say hats off to Coach Mays because, um, you know, they had a hell of a game plan. You know, they're, you know, tops in the conference and uh, I think defensive field goal percentage anyway. So we knew it was going to be tough trying to go against their um, half court set because they try to confuse you with a little man and zone combination. So we wanted to push the ball out and be able to play in transition. Um, we didn't get enough opportunities to do that because um, we didn't get enough stops. But when the game came down to it, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to lay my hat, my money, and everything on this team. You know, I said in the summer and I say it again now, I love this team. This team put in all the effort and energy and hard work all summer to get to this point. And we hadn't come this far just to come this far. And so we're going to be able to see that kind of grit, you know, towards the end of games and to be able to finish games. Coach, were you happy with the shots you guys were taking up until middle of the fourth quarter? Yeah, I, I'm, you know, one or two shots we can take back there, I think. Uh, we had a couple early in the shot clock, but when we're in rhythm, I love those shots. Um, we don't ever talk about a lot of shot selection because they go hard on the defensive end, and that's the, the pack that we made. If they give us what we want as a staff on the defensive end, we can live with some of the things they do on the offensive end because they got the drive to want to win, so they're going to take those shots with confidence. What was the key down the stretch to erase the deficit? Uh, them saying that they were ready to do it. I mean, just looking them in the eye and saying we're going to do it for each other right there. We got four minutes to be able to, four or five minutes right there to be able to finish this out. It's going to take one or two plays, then we're going to be able to get the lead and see what happened. What are your thoughts on uh, Georgia Black Shell Fair and her defense? You know, she's, she's – um, always locked in defensively and we love her for it you know she can get to the basket with the best of and make good reads um, she's still battling the ankle thing a little bit I think a few times she was limping but still yet sprint it to the next trap I mean just all out sprint it to the next trap and guard it and there were some times that um, she wasn't in the right position but you always can live and die with the things she do defensively because she has the heart. Jasmine what are your thoughts on the key to the comeback? Well, you know, like Coach Huey said, we just believed that we could do it. You know, we always come back from uh, – we always come back when we down like that and uh, just putting our minds together and, and saying we're going to stop them from scoring. So, and, and we had good stops and good plays. Did your did your nose affect your, your game at all? No. You know, it was hurting a little bit, but after a while, I just – I wasn't feeling it anymore until now. I want your thoughts on the Julia's game as well, her defense. Well, you know, Julia, she's she's tough. And, you know, she she's going to give her all no matter what. And her playing great defense is what, you know, this team likes because we are a defensive team. And, you know, she's a great player. That's Expect that every game from her. Coach, what else is going to take for you guys to finish out the season strong? You know, I think, first of all, we got to prepare – um, just be mentally and physically prepared um, night in and night out. You know, when you're talking about the two-lane team that's coming in here on Wednesday, um, knowing how we won down there and knowing that they just lost today against UConn. So, you know, they're going to come in ready. So we have to be mentally prepared to match the energy that they have plus some. Um, we always talk about everything matters. So we want to go out with every single possession, every single thing during that 30, 35, 40, 60 seconds, whether it's two possessions or one. Or We want to make sure every single thing matters with no excuses. And we wear it on our wrists as a reminder. And so that kind of mentality, I think, is what drives them. You know, they came up with it, you know, that everything matters this past summer on top of everything else. So the fact that they came up with that and they keep playing the way they are and never say die, I think that's we got the right mentality to to keep pushing. Thanks very much. Appreciate it, guys.